Good evening everyone and welcome to the first part of our superhero paint night. So let's get to it. Okay, so for this first one, I'll be doing a Captain America logo. So you need your red, blue, and white paint. And a little bit of a pro tip is if you have a newspaper, you might just slide everything on that paper. All right, so I'm gonna do this a little bit different. You can do the Captain American shield, which would be the circles of red, white, and blue with the white star in the middle. I'm going to be doing it a little bit different. Making sort of a mock-up of his uniform and doing blue on the top with a white star and the red, white stripes on the bottom. So I'm just gonna mark off one the stripes and then I'm going to use masking tape. Make sure to also keep a cup of water beside you to rinse out your brush. And you may have to do one or two coats of the paint depending. Because it can go on a bit thin at first. Actually, I think I'm going to do about half. The masking tape lines are a little bit too wide, so I'm going to do about half. Like so. Just cleaning out my brush. I'm in a bit of a renegade. I'm <laughs> taking the paint off now. Just going to even it up. I'm going to do a little bit of the red. I'm going to do red on this side as well. Now it's time for the white again. Top, I'm just going to do the whole thing blue and then I'm going to let that dry because we're going to be painting the white on top of it and so for the white to show through you're going to need to wait for the blue to dry. You could also um, do a star cutout if you want it to. So I'm leaving a spot bare enough so that the white star can show up and I'm just going to start freehanding the star using my paintbrush but you can also use a toothpick to um, do defining parts of it but I'm just going to freehand it a little bit with my brush. When trying to define something, if you don't have a toothpick handy, you can use... I'm just going to fill in these spots with them. And there you go. You have your Captain America painting, sort of reminiscent of his uniform. Hope you enjoy that one. Now on to Superman.
For this next one, we're going to do this famous Superman icon. Yeah, you can use a stencil. It's very easy just to print out the um, Superman logo or any of the logos we're going to do. You but I'm just going to sketch it out basically to start with the sort of triangular bottom. I'm just going to make it as even as possible with my ruler. And I'm just going to do it by hand, but like I said before, you could always just print out the logos for any of the ones that we're going to do and use the printouts as your stencil. Once I have the shape for my logo, I'm just going to start painting the background around it with the famous blue, like Superman's uniform. And then after that dries a little bit, I will start filling in the red and yellow for the actual logo itself. And now I'm going to paint the center with the yellow, and I'm going to wait for it all to dry before I start adding the red details of the S and the outline of the um, Superman symbol. And like I said, yellow is a little bit of a lighter color, and so with the wood, you might have to do a second coat. But luckily, this paint doesn't take too long to dry, so. It's not like you're waiting hours necessarily for it to dry. Just a few minutes and then you can tidy it up. I'm just trying to make the paint as even as possible. Now that I have the yellow section, I'm just going to do the outline, the sort of outside of the logo in that red, just along the edge there of the entire logo. Once again, if you feel like you're a stay your hand with a toothpick or even with marker, you could do this part with marker. Then I'm going to do the S at the very end. Basically, you're just doing a block S in the middle. So I'm gonna start slow and then I will add to it as I need to. Too. I just want the S to sort of fill in the whole section until it looks like this. And at the end, this is roughly what your Superman painting will look like. I hope you enjoyed these ideas and stay tuned as we'll be having a part two of our superhero paint night.